Welcome back developers to the second part of Esco Corp tutorials. I hope you enjoyed the first part and ready to dive deeper into Esco Corp ecosystem. Today, we will be learning about an essential aspect of Esco Corp by making dependencies such as CocoaPods or Swift format available to Esco Corp so that you can continue to build the code. Sometimes, when your app depends on external dependencies such as CocoaPods and Swift format, it will cause the build to fail. This can be fixed by installing the required dependencies for it to set out EscoCloud. When EscoCloud initiates a build process, it first ensure the environment is properly configured. This includes selecting the appropriate Xcode version, Mac OS version, based on the project requirements. Once the environment is set, Xcode Cloud proceeds to build the project in the cloud. As the build completes, Xcode Cloud saves the generated artifacts, which may include compound binaries, test result and other build related data. However, your project depends on some dependencies such as CocoaPod. Your project cannot be built. Before proceeding with the build process in Escort Cloud, there are some essential preparation we must undertake right after cloning the project. This involves installing any required dependencies such as CocoaPods and performing necessary set up tasks. In order to do that, we write a post clone script. This will resolve dependencies if you are using CocoaPod. After post clone scripts is run, it will run and resolve other dependencies if you are using Swift Packet Manager. No additional setup is required for SPM, unlike CocoaPod. There are some other scripts which includes pre escort build and post escort build, which we will be looking more in depth in the future on the topic on escort cloud custom script. The reason I'm covering this first is because I believe some of you might be using your own project when following this course. Because of this, I will cover this first to ensure that you can follow with your project smoothly. You can download the project that I'm using for this lesson. But remember to set out the ESCO card first. If you are unsure how to do that, please watch my first part of Esco Cloud lesson. The link can be found below. Once you download the starting project, we will set up CocoaPod for this project. Change directory to this project folder. If you never installed CocoaPod before, you can set out by typing blue install CocoaPods. I will provide more details at the description below. Now, run port init, then open out the CocoaPod file. We can try to add dependencies we want to test it out. Maybe add Firebase off. Go back to the terminal and run port install. Once done, open up the SC workspace. As you may have noticed in our current project, we are using Swift Package Manager to manage dependencies. However, CocoaPod is also a widely used dependency manager in iOS community. However, don't follow me as we should be using one of it to make our project cleaner and easy to manage. Head to the project navigator and click on Cloud. Before you start, you need to modify the environment. As the project or the workspace should change to XCT workspace instead of Xcode project. 
do the same thing for the other word flow. Once the environment is done changing, let's commit our new added cocoa pot into Git. As expected from our previous setup, the unit test should start running. The workflow field. Open up the logs and take a look at the issue. The issue might not provide you with the direct solution, but the reason is because CocoaPod is not found and the project cannot run correctly. For Xcode to know where the file is located, we need to create a CI script at the root of the project. Create a file, create shell script, Name it CI Boost Clone so that Escocal will know that it has to run this script after cloning the project. Don't need to select any targets. In the script, we want to install all the stuff that is needed to start the project. The first thing that need to be installed is CocoaPods. Type blue install CocoaPods and also port install to install the CocoaPod dependencies for your project. Commit and push the changes. Now the workflow has started. As you see, it started running the postcode screen. I will speed it up again. Why did it fail? Let's read the logs. No port file in the project directory. Seems like I have forgotten to push the port file. Let's commit and push again and everything should work. The workflow should run and it seems like there is some issue. Yes, I have forgotten to take the push just now when committing. Let's push the code to GitHub. The unit test is running. And the build stopped failing. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to build dependencies available to Xcode Cloud. In this tutorial, we learn how to add dependencies to the workflow. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I will be happy to answer them.